Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 4 of Gate Season 2. And I actually really enjoyed this one. Things are starting to really heat up on both sides of the spectrum. With from Itami with the girls on their trip to find the dragon. And then back at the base. Nothing on Pina and really the Empire. A little bit about the prince there. But it's really just how it's everything is being controlled and started by Teal, the bunny, bunny girl. She's pretty much trying to start a war, trying to start, make the Empire and everyone just get destroyed. That's pretty much what's going on. Um, what she, how she does it is we get that one girl at the beginning, her name was Dahlia, I think. The bunny girl, she seems super nice all the time, right? But she's actually a warrior as well. And I guess they somehow made it so it was, she had, they obviously forged a letter to make her go and attack and try and kill Noriko who was of course the girl who got kidnapped before and she it doesn't really explain too much they showed a little bit about who um, Tio was and you know what happened but they don't really sh tell us why for instance Delia hates Tio what did she do why is this you know like a little bit on the fact that she's obviously with trying to do something with the prince but she somehow betrayed him somehow. I'm not too sure. That was kind of maybe they'll put more talk more about it in the next episode since they're probably going to interrogate her and stuff about what's going on and everything. Um But yeah, that's pretty much what happened at the base. We got a little bit more with um Yanagita um pretty much telling what happened, where Itami's going, and it ends up the Lieutenant Colonel, I think. Or well, I don't know, the guy in charge, Lieutenant General is setting out like a bunch of forces to go help Itami. It's pretty cool how so much people are trying to help Itami. We get a little bit of him also talking to um, Duran, the guy, the king, one of the kings that went to attack on this hill before, on this hill. So it's pretty interesting that we finally get to see more about him. We got to see a little bit about him when he talked to Itami, but we see more about him and he's gonna try and get back to claim his country and pretty much make an alliance of sorts with um, Japan and everything and they have um, Yanagita pretty much made a comp uh, comp uh, sorry brain fart he, he made a you know a, made it so they would have to give them um, oil well not really he doesn't say oil but he says let them tax free and all this stuff they'll be able to mining not gold and iron and all that kind of stuff because that's what they want but oil because oil is obviously something that's really needed for our modern day stuff while they don't need it at all so that's really helpful for one thing that's pretty interesting that we'll see later on in the future that alliance may come up somewhere along the way um another thing that happened was obviously um Delia does try to attack Noriko to which obviously she ends up in a fight with Yanagita she stabs him he shoots her like crazy that was pretty interesting like the show is definitely taking a more darker approach now like I know it's supposed to be more dark in the manga but it like compared to how it was in the first season and I mean there's been their dark points but it's getting a lot more dark in in what's going on with all of this you know betrayal and all this kind of stuff traitors and all this all these things going on and also on the side with Itami and how he's making Tuka have to shoot a rocket launcher at the dragon and she's just crying and doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to, add, you know, she doesn't want what happened, you know, her dra the dragon to actually kill her dad. She doesn't want that to be true at all. So there's that. Um, yeah, as I said, for, I forgot to say before, they made, obviously made it too. Um, Yohaz, uh, Yohaz, I forgot how to say her name, the Dark Elves home and everything. And they're fighting the dragon. And that was pretty much the end of the episode. So a lot of things went, went on in this episode from... Itami going off on his journey, pretty much fighting the dragon, pretty much Tuka having to face her reality and everything, and as all of them are trying to fight the dragon. The next episode is going to be a big one where they fight the dragon, a full-on fight. This one was only a small fight, a small portion, like the beginning of it, so it'll be pretty interesting to see how well the fight, how big and crazy the fight will be. Hopefully it will be some crazy big fight, you know, that's what I want. Um, it's also interesting to see... The dynamics of what is going on with Tio and what she's doing to try and start, you know, the sparks of war. And what is Japan going to try and do? Because they obviously think it's the prince. They don't know it's Tio yet. And there was also the part with the prince um, 
wants one of the chefs to go to the palace and pretty much cook for him and he notices like oh who is that so there might be something he might figure out something and she might end up killing him or something like that i'm not too sure but yeah overall a good episode that really delved more into his darker side and really showed more of what is going on like every this is like uh it started to build up towards the big parts like big fight with the dragon obviously we're gonna see maybe i don't know if it's gonna end in the next episode or the episode after that and then also what is going on with Teal and she's pretty much, you know, planting the seeds of DC and trying to make everyone fight each other, the Japan and the Empire. So can't wait to see what happens in the next few episodes. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion and review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys. See ya.